Hey, hello and welcome once again to my YouTube channel, this is Reflex Image. If this is your first time visiting, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification icon if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. So in today's video, we'll be turning this plain backdrop into a nice convocation backdrop using these figures over here. And I'll be giving you this file free of charge as a PSD file. So all you just need to do to gain access to this file is to click my Facebook link down in the video description, follow me on Facebook and scroll and check for this post. Under it, I will drop the file link there so that you can go and download it straight away, no hidden charges or whatsoever. So, with no further ado, let's jump into action. This video is going to be a very, very short one because the file I'll be giving to you guys is very, very easy and straightforward to use. But firstly, let's retouch our picture. So, I'll be using another software to retouch my picture today, but if you don't have that, you can use the frequency separation to retouch your picture easily. But this actually saved me a lot of time. Its name is Evoto AI. So this is what I use in retouching my picture. What I just need to do is to turn sliders here and it's going to do all that for me. So the first thing I need to do is to go to the blemishes remover. I'm going to do what? I'm going to click on frequency and angst, reduce patient a little bit, remove dark circles, remove eye bags, and I'll just do all the basic adjustments. But as you can see, I'm just doing sliders and it's going to affect, it's going to reflect on my picture. Those, those are just what I need to do. So I'll just go to the skin retouching. Then I'll come down to Sculpt, Dodge and Burn, Frequency Separation, 100%, under the low, I'm going to increase to 100%. Now if I'm to zoom into my face right now, look at the before of my face, and look at the after, before, after, before, after. So it was able to retouch my picture for me, perfectly, in no time. So that's all the facial, that's all the facial retouching, I'll just do the same thing to the skin also, the body aspect, Frequency Separation 100%, low frequency, I'll turn it on to 100%. And boom, it's going to do what? It's going to retouch both the face and the body for me. Very, very easy and straightforward. So anybody can do this. So the next thing I can do is to use my, how I want my dodge to, be, to look right now. I'm going to use this Dewey so that it's going to pop my skin tone for me. Very, very easy and straightforward. So anybody can just do this right now. The next thing, I'll just come to the skin tone and I'll select my preferred skin tone, which is this. Look at the before, look at the after. So I'm just going to do it. Increase the what the skin radiance so that my skin is going to pop the way I want it to. So we are done with our retouching. All you just need to do to come to exports, save your picture, and do what wait for us to do it in Photoshop. So now welcome back to Photoshop. Here's the picture which we'll be working on right now. As you can see, I've extended my background. For you to not to do that, just click on your crop tool, select the size you want. I'll be using my 4x5 into bracket 8x10. As you can see right now so you're going to drag it from the top drag from the bottom just like i do in rest of my videos once you're done with that next thing you need to do is to duplicate the background layer by clicking on ctrl j or command j if you're using the macbook next thing you need to do right now is to select your subject out use your quick selection tool whatever tool you know how to use but i already have my subject selected which is this i already have my subject selected so if you don't know how to do that trust me those are the things you need to learn before you go deep into manipulation if you know how to remove background perfectly then you're good to go. And if you're using Photoshop 2026, this new Photoshop version is going to be a smooth seal for you. Even though you are using device selection, it's going to select it for you perfectly. That's what I use in this particular picture right now. I do not use cloud selection. So now let's say we're done with our selection right now. You just need to do right now. Right click on it, go to feather, under feather, make sure you're using two as a radius, two to four as a radius. Click on OK, then click on the max. So right now, Go back to your background layer, duplicate it once more by clicking on Ctrl J if you're using a MacBook command J. Put down your Ctrl key or your command key if you're using a MacBook. Make sure you are clicking on this max. So it's going to bring back the selection for you. Then scroll to select, under select, go to modify, under modify, then go to expand. So I'll be expanding by 8 pixel. I'll click on OK. Next thing I'll do right now is to come to my rectangle macro tool, which is right over here. Then I'll do what? I'll scroll from the top like this. Make sure I'm selecting part of the background. What I want to do right now is I want to fill all this area up with the initial background color, right? So make sure it's an addition so that I can add other part of it to the selection. So I'll do the same to the left hand side, like this. And I'm going to select this stand also. I'll add it to it. I'll come the same thing to the right, right hand side. I'll do the same thing. Also, the footer also, I'll do the same thing. As you can see right now. Then we're done. All you just need to do right now is to right click on it, then go to fill. On that fill, make sure you're selecting content away. Just click on OK sit back and relax and wait for photoshop to do it magic for you and boom look at what it did for us and boom look at what it did for us so i was able to 
and boom look at what it did for us it was able to expand our background so someone that did not see where we did this might think this is how wide our backdrop is from the initial so control d to the select right now next thing you need to do right now is to do what duplicate your background copy once more the one we just talked on right now by clicking on control j again then go to filter under filter go to blur under blur go to gaussian blur so under gaussian blur i'll be using the radio of 150 i'll click on my ok so that to smoothen our background for us next thing i'll do right now is to max it Create a, click on the max icon then pick your brush make sure the color is on black and do what clean all this footer area clean this up so that it's going to return back the shadow for us so that it's going to make it look very very real then we're done the next thing you just need to do right now is to bring in the graduation icon to make it look as if this is actually a graduation picture because she's not wearing any rope or anything so you might be thinking this is actually a hard thing to do but trust me i already have the solution for you so i already have a file which i'll be giving to you guys for you to use right now so i would have done it as a png but i won't be able to save the shadow and make it look hyper realistic at the same time so i did it as a psd file which i'll be dropping also on the telegram all you just need to do is to follow the link on my facebook page make sure you follow me on facebook first then follow the link there to my telegram and it's going to do what give you access to this file and i have about three of it that you can use for any graduation picture and it's going to fit in perfectly you don't need to worry about creating shadow the shadow is already there so these two right now this layer two and layer one those are the things i'll be dragging to my picture what i just need to do right now is just to drag it to my own document i'm working on right now wait for it to load up Control t for free transform and i'm going to expand it slice it or we'll expand it very well and i'm going to drag it to where i want it to be as you can see right now i want it to be around this way like this drag it up a little bit i'll click on ok and boom our grad is ready and if it's too big just control t on it again and drag it down a little bit don't forget you are selecting the boots together don't match the boot layer if you match the boot layer the shadow would actually apply again the reason there is that we change the blend mode of the shadow from normal we bring it down to multiply so whatever make us change anything here right now is going to go back to normal and shadow is not going to be there again so make sure you select the boots while dragging while expanding make sure the boot layer is well selected as you can see and that's why we that's the reason why we have our shadow the way it is and boom our manipulation is good hello guys please kindly follow my new facebook page my previous page was actually blocked few months ago and i have no followers on this particular so follow me and i'll be dropping some real videos on my facebook page and also some of my bts on how i do my shoots so the link is down in the video description all you just need to do is to click it's going to redirect you straight to my facebook page follow and like some of my posts there thank you guys so in case you're interested in getting any of my picture editing file from my overlays down to my color lookup which is my lot file so you just have to scroll down to your video so under the comment this is my description so it's not going to load the description for you. you just have to click on show more click on it so it's going to show all the options once it does that just click on my store link so here's my store link once you click on it it's going to take you directly to my store so you can actually select any file you want from the color lookup this is a light skin lot this is a feather which i use in my recent video this is 100 premium baby overlays this is my fourth video course this video course entails on how to download all the files i want the site i use in downloading all my files free of charge including my photoshop panels also this includes my png files this includes all my packs all my picture editing files my premium overlay my png my flying fabrics my color lookup my presets so once you buy this you've already bought everything apart from this one so here is my flying fabrics here is my in case you want to give me any project for me to work on here's my color lookup here is my background overlay and here is my preset file so in case you're interested in buying anyone you can actually go for them the good news there is that you can actually buy your own currency any currency of your choice you can buy with any currency of your choice